place is called, which is way south Phoenix. I don't know how I get talked into coming out these places. The Gila, that's what it is. I'm at a Gila. So here we go, we're walking up to the short course. All right. I don't know who this guy is, but we'll see. Can I partner up with you played here before? Never. Never? First time, yeah. All right. Zach. Alex. Alex, good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Me too. The air bomb, man. He didn't even, he didn't even give me the real thing. He must be afraid of COVID or something. Who knows? All right, let's see what happens. And what's up, everyone? I'm out here in BFE at a place called Aguila. Alex said it means eagle. I'll take your word for it on that one. Anyway, my friend said meet me out here. This is a great track. They redid it. It is pretty nice, but he didn't show up. So thanks a lot. So I booked the short course. The guy said just go ahead and go. And on the tee is this guy, Alex. Now, something seems a little shady. He said he's never played the course. So we will see what happens here right away. He's wanting to bet me for some cash. So let's do it. All right, this is episode 11. Me versus the stranger. Is this guy good? Is he going to hustle me? Let's find out. 50 bucks on the line. Starting out with a little par three. Every hole is pretty short out here, but the greens are even shadier. I just got done playing Australia Mountain. It's dormant grass, they're lightning fast, and it's hard to tell where they're really fast, so this will be very interesting. Stay tuned for this. All right, this is the first hole. This is the 86 yard. Dang, I'm going to record this guy. He says he's pretty good, so we'll see. We're going to do a little match. All right, looking at his swing looks good, and this is all over it. What did I just do? Oh, baby. He hit that to about 10 feet. He did. All right, just like 99% of the time I play, I just show up and hit it with no warm-ups, but this one was a little short, not bad. I'll take it. This is shot at about 20 feet. He hit a good one there. I don't know how he knew that there was a backstop there, but... Oh my goodness. Oof, thought I was in when I hit it. And now he has about a 10, 12 footer here to win the hole straight down the hill. Check out how fast this thing is. <laughs> how uh -oh. quick are these? I know, bro. That wow is was right. Now he has this to save his par. Yep. Yeah. That All was right. a good putt there, Alex. These greens are wild. Already. They're wild and they're slicker than a dolphin's <laughs> So, on to the next hole. You just saw he ran it like 10 feet by and he made a good comeback. <laughs> Unreal. Alright, this is the second hole. All right, par three, 168 yards. A little chilly out there. It's about 60 degrees, not too bad, as long as you're in the sun. All right, enough screwing around with the drone. Let's go. That was a great shot there all over it and left himself about 10 feet short of the hole. Who is this guy? Now I got lucky here, I hit it way short and got a really lucky bounce. So there's the result. Got lucky as hell. The more I play, the luckier I get. That's what Arnold Palmer said. All right, so I have about a 20 footer and he's more like about 15 feet. So pretty straightforward, it breaks a little bit to the right. Uh-oh. Like I said, the more of these matches I play, the luckier I seem to yeah, get. Crunchy. This is like punch. This is like putting on Rice Krispie treats. All right. Now the conditions are slick like the U.S. Open, but this isn't the U.S. Open, Alex. Let's get a move on here, buddy. All right. Good hole. All right. I got lucky on that one. Yeah, better to be lucky than good, especially with me. I think that's the only reason I've even won a match. And here we are, we have an 81 yard shot 
It's a triangular potato rounded like shaped green. If you could describe it better, put a comment. But here we go. I and mean, we're both just going to chip our 60s. Hit it hit solid but tugged it just a bit. It was pin high and dribbled down into that long, crispy rough. All right, here's, uh, what's your name? What'd you say your name was again? It's Alex. Alex, okay. Out. Oh, sorry about that. I'm terrible at names and I caddy for a living. I should be ashamed of myself, but I do write down names if I don't know you. And typically I caddy for my yeah. regulars, so he hit a real good one. Oh, got to go in. Seriously, where it I think so. His landed there. That's Alex, and I'm over here. So like I said, the grass is <laughs> dead, and this was sitting down. I tried to get too cute with it and chunked it. So now I need to make this because he's sitting pretty for a birdie putt. Is it going to go in? Not quite, but you have to be real careful here. These greens, I mean, I'm telling you, get out there and try it and see how good you do. And now he's got a straight uphill putt for birdie. Yeah, All right, now I don't feel so bad. Now I don't feel so bad. I, was, uh, I had about a one in 10 shot again up and down there for me. So on to the next one. All right, we're even now. Yeah, back to even. Good putt, Alex. All right, two out of three birdies on uh, the first three holes. So anyway, on to a par three. This is more of a normal distance for me. This is a 107 shot, and I'm going to hit my 56 and see what happens. He's got the honors again. This kind of reminds me of Noah from Epic Golf Club. He is just lasering shots and striping them either over the pin or just in front of it. So he hit his long, and I tug mine a little left. Still a good shot. I'll take it. And up on the green, you're going to see we both have decent All right, so looks. here's the result. He's just, he was all over the line. He's got about 20 feet away. And then I got, I got about 16 feet. All right, so he has the comebacker. He's got 20 feet straight down the hill. This thing is greasy, super slick. So fast. I know, crazy fast. How'd that not go in? Now I'm looking at 16 feet. It's a little uphill. Should break a little bit to the right. Let's see if I could pop another birdie to get back to one up. Gravelly concrete or something. I don't know. This is weird. All right, he left himself an eight footer again to save his par. <laughs> Things snap off up to the left. All right, back up one. Yeah, this is so hard to make putts out here. And we made two, we start out with two birdies out of three, which is insane. I think. I, I mean, I know I got lucky. Yeah, he's putting good. It's like, but, but what it is is that the grass is dormant and that just means it's dead. Alright, so let's see which way we're going this way. Look at this little guy. 46 yards, eh? Hey, hoser. Alright, I'm back to one up. Tough out here. So let's see what happens. Part two will be out next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Who's gonna win? This guy's good. That's all I know. Let's see if I can get lucky.